three friends Kathy, Tommy, and Ruth grow up together at a seemingly idyllic boarding school in the English countryside. When they leave the school and the horrible truth of their true purpose is revealed to them, they must simultaneously confront deep-seated feelings of love, jealousy, and betrayal that threaten to tear their friendship asunder. Today, we will talk about a 2010 British romantic tragedy film called Never Let Me Go. The film begins with on-screen captions explaining that a medical breakthrough in 1952 has permitted the human lifespan to be extended beyond 100 years. It is narrated by 28-year-old Kathy, as she reminisces about her childhood at a boarding school called Hailsham, as well as her adult life after leaving the school. The film first depicts the young Kathy, along with her friends Tommy and Ruth, spending their childhood at Hailsham in 1978. The students are encouraged to create artwork, and their best work gets into the gallery run by a mysterious woman known only as Madam. One day, a new teacher, Miss Lucy, quietly informs the students of their fate, they are destined to be organ donors and will die, or complete, in their early adulthood. Shortly afterwards she is fired by the headmistress, Miss Emily, for sharing this revelation with the children. As time passes, Kathy falls in love with Tommy, but Ruth and Tommy begin a relationship and stay together throughout the rest of their time at Hailsham. In the second act, Kathy, Ruth, and Tommy, now teenagers, are rehoused in cottages on a farm in 1985. They are permitted to leave the grounds on day trips but are resigned to their eventual fate. At the farm, they meet former pupils of schools similar to theirs, and it is revealed that they are all clones. They also hear rumors of the possibility of deferral, a temporary reprieve from organ donation for donors who are in love and can prove it. Tommy becomes convinced that the gallery at Hailsham was intended to look into their souls and that artwork sent to the gallery will be able to confirm true love where it is present. The relationship between Tommy and Ruth becomes sexual, and jealousy causes Kathy and Ruth to break their friendship. The lonely Kathy leaves and becomes a carer, a donor who is given a temporary reprieve from donation as a reward for supporting and comforting donors as they are made to give up their organs. Tommy and Ruth's relationship ends. In 1994, Kathy is still working as a carer and has watched many donors gradually die as their organs are harvested. Kathy, who has not seen Ruth or Tommy since the farm, discovers Ruth, frail after two donations. They find Tommy, who is also weakened by his donations, and they take a drive to the seashore, where Ruth admits that she did not love Tommy, and only seduced him because she was afraid to be alone. She is consumed with guilt and has been searching for a way to help Tommy and Kathy. She believes that the rumors of deferral are true, and has found the address of the gallery owner, Madam, who she thinks may grant deferrals to couples in love. Ruth dies on the operating table shortly afterward. Kathy and Tommy finally begin a relationship. Tommy explains to Kathy that he has been creating art in the hope that it will aid deferral. He and Kathy drive to visit Madam who lives with the headmistress of Hailsham. The two teachers tell them that there is no such thing as deferral and that Tommy's artworks will not help him. They explain that the purpose of the gallery was not to look into their souls but to investigate whether the all but human donors even have souls at all. Hailsham was the last place to consider the ethical implications of the donor scheme. As they take in the news on their return journey, Tommy explodes in rage and frustration, and they cling to each other in grief. Tommy completes his final donation and dies on the operating table, leaving Kathy alone, waiting for her donations to begin in a month. The movie ends as Kathy contemplating the ruins of her childhood and asks in voiceover whether her fate is really any different from the people who will receive her organs. After all, we all complete. Thank you for watching and listening. See you again soon. Until then, take care.